Welcome back guys to Zelda Blade Chronicles X, where last episode, searching for the missing team, we located an IFF signal after finding the group's down scale, finding the signal to be in a complex with many organized life signs inside, as we were greeted by the prone, who rejecting our diplomatic attempts, attacked, wanting to eradicate all Earth life. Heading into the sea swept base, we attempted to find our lost explorers, unfortunately coming across a group of corpses with their murderers standing over their bodies, with our team deemed to be the next to die. Having rescued a native Nopon by the name of Tatsu on attempting to leave, we now head back to Commander Vandom to report that we are not alone. So, where, who, where do we hand in this quest now? That's gotta be quite far away, surely. Oh, that actually finished the mission as well, so that's all sorted. Beautiful. If that's the case then, you know exactly what we're doing. Off home we go. The right location this time. Let's go straight to there, actually. Feels weird to use a touchscreen to do fast travel and all that. Phew. There's a bit more ugh, when that pig suddenly appeared. Here we go then. I do wonder if we go to other areas as quests to do as well, not just, for example, the ones we could pick up here. Well, we completed the quests that were available to us in this chapter. The question, of course, is, uh, is there anything more to it than that? Could I complete the chest, the quest later? Do I have to complete them now? Damn, losing Nelson's team is a real blow. But the fact we're not the only visitors on this rock is even worse. They made it clear they want all humans dead. For all we know, they may be related to the forces that destroyed Earth and followed us here. Wonderful. I'll report this to Secretary Nagi. See if we can't bolster our defenses. Just one last thing. What the bloody hell is this dancing turnip doing here? He's actually a potato. Tatsu not turnip or potato. For last time, Tatsu is not food. Now, on behalf of Planet Vera, Tatsu welcome all Earth people and offer a friendly treaty of friendship. Um, yeah. Right. Anyway, we were thinking he could be a good source of general intel about the planet. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friends totally safe now that Tatsu is in town. Tatsu watch over and protect friends. Especially weak, pathetic Lindley with her thin, bony wings. You mean my arms? Look who's talking. And who said anything about you coming with us? You can stay here, you greedy, annoying little cabbage. I'm sure there's a salad here that could use you. <laughs> Tatsu stay here? F friends would leave Tatsu behind? It's for the best. You said yourself your people are endangered, and the Xenos that captured you might still be out there. You'll be safest here in the city. Mm, agreed. Y y Tatsu got agreed! Friends will want Tatsu along. Friends need Tatsu along. How so? What? Well, that, uh, th that, of course. This planet have many helpful Nopon that Tatsu can talk to. Other Nopon can share information for friends. Hmm, that might be useful. That right, that right. Most Nopon not like Tatsu. Nopon can be shy. Nopon can be difficult. Most Nopon never trust friends or even talk to friends. But Tatsu? Nopon love Tatsu. Tatsu use smooth talk and winning personality to get friends good info. Hmm, the tater tot has a point. Uh-huh, more like an ulterior motive if you ask me. Tatsu perish the thought. Tatsu intentions are pure, Linley. Pure as snow. Linley intimidated by Tatsu's strength and smarts, but do not worry, Tatsu is true friend. Strength and smarts, huh? That's really not what I'm worried about here. All right, then it's settled. Small Fry here will accompany you three out in the field. After all, we can use all the info we can get. Seriously? We have to babysit this thing? You're the ones who picked him up. 
Besides, would you really want to leave him with another team? Maybe not. Unless we were invited to the meal, I mean. See? Already getting along like peas and carrots. He can be your charge, Lynn. Oh, come on, Commander! That's not funny! I've got my hands full out there! This is so unfair. Back me up here, would you, Elma? I'm sure Elma has no objections. Right. As you say, Commander. Done and done. Welcome to Blade, Tater. We'll be counting on you. Yes, sir! And it's a Tatsu. Oh, one thing Tatsu forgot to mention. Nopon are pacifists, so friends need to defend Tatsu, keep extra super safe in any battle. Tatsu VIP diplomat, after all. Why am I not surprised? So much for him watching over and protecting us. <sighs> so pacifistic, his entire species are doomed to extinction. <laughs> Nelson's team was completely obliterated by hostile Xenos, but you did at least make contact with one friendly Xenoform, a Nopon named Tatsu. Are we happy about this? So, Rook, feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? I wish you, I hope you're calling me Rook because it's a cool nickname, like, because I'm like a chess piece of the Rook, maybe. Rather than Rookie, but still, I will show confidence. Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Alma and the Commander said you would. Just the same, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. Blade's top priority right now is to secure missing pieces of the life hold. You remember that much. Countless people are frozen in the life hold. It's the key to restoring humanity. Up until we ran into the prone, our biggest concern was that wild indigents would stumble on the life hold and damage it somehow. But now there's a more pressing threat. Intelligent alien races who are intentionally trying to destroy us. So, our search has new urgency. We need to find and retrieve all of the life hold ASAP. And the best way to do that is by expanding the reach of Frontier Nav. The more probes we can install, the wider we can scan, and the faster we can find bits of the life hold. So our primary focus going forward should be to travel around Mira installing data probes. As many as we can, as fast as we can. I can't stress enough how important this is. You still with me? Of course. Cock my head, huh? <laughs> Good. Then let's move on to the other pressing threat that Blade has to deal with. Hostile indigens. There's no real delicate way to put this. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the present. We still have our duty to keep New LA safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. We are the newcomers here, it's true. And they're usually just out to defend their territory. But sometimes it really is them or us. And we have to make sure it's us. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we run out there and light up anything that moves. Only Blade HQ can choose targets. And they tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to our survival. In order to contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. 
These squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other, more typical assignments. Rather, HQ transmits the details directly to all of us at the same time. Basically, they want as many people to know about them ASAP, so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine that these missions aren't your run-of-the-mill little fetch quests. It's not the kind of stuff just one or two blades could handle on their own. That's why squads can have as many as 32 members. And it's why we ask members to sign up to a squad beforehand. We can't have Blades playing musical chairs whenever this kind of emergency hits us. But just remember, squad missions are not mandatory. You don't have to drop everything you're doing just to take one off. HQ has no way of knowing what every Blade is up to when these missions arise. If you're busy with something else, they'll understand. They need to trust our collective judgment with these things, and, well, so far, so good. And I think that about covers the basics, right? Search for the missing pieces of the life link. Install data probes to expand Frontier Nav. And take on squad missions when you can to keep us safe. Got all that? Look confused. No, we got it. It's the online gaming explanation. Good. We're counting on you. And briefing adjourned. Thank God. Tatsu, where did you get that hair? <laughs> I demand it be ripped off. All right. Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Yeah. Let's call it a night. Oh, Tatsu's so excited to sleep in real bed. Lily can show Tatsu to his room now. Oh, your room is right over there. Oh, it looks perfect size for Tatsu. Wait, what? Tatsu know what that is? That refrigerator. We'll go in there to cool off. Yes, you are smarter than you look. Well, Tatsu not want to brag, but... Uh, wait a minute! Tatsu see what Lily did there! That was some bright morning light! Right there, Lin's advice. Advancing story missions. At last, your blade adventure begins. Main story missions can be undertaken by the blade barracks, but remember that they come with specific requirements like level and survey rate. Good luck, Rook. We're counting on you to find the life old core. Okay. So, literally, the game will say, ah, you can't progress until you've done at least some side quests. Play reports. Good luck on your mission. Two new features are now available. The first is play reports, which allows blade operatives to interact and share info. Use this feature to coordinate missions, give advice, or even show shower me of affection if you so desire. Sure, e Eleonora. Scouting plays. Next up is the blade scout feature. This allows a blade operative from another team to aid you for a limited time. Simply access the blade scout console anytime you need an extra hand. Well, look at that. Now all blades have your disposal. Editing your greetings. Hey, so if you set up your greetings for online play, which I'm guessing there really isn't that big a community of anymore, a great tool for introducing yourself to other operatives. You can personalize them by selecting edit greetings from the social menu. Try it out sometime. Just be respectful. This is Nintendo. Once you hit class rank 10, you might want to think about changing classes, which you kind of figured out. Moving from drifting to a higher class will allow you to use skills. Oh, and remember, you can change classes anytime, so don't be afraid to try something new. So it's actually expecting you not to have changed by now. Organizing your party, you're a blade now. That implies great responsibility, but also great freedom. And though some assignments require specific party members, who you take on your travels is generally up to you. Call on Lin or myself anytime you like. We'll be in the barracks. What the hell was Lin wearing in that picture? Our social settings, etc. I guess considering we're online, we're you know how this works. I'll just disable it all. Online status to no one. Never update. 
And never give me notifications. One period early, didn't it? Just my own. So, so unfriendly. That's when we set our online settings. Life Fault Squad, for those who want an immersive single player experience, Conquest Squads, for those who want to focus on multiplayer play, or Friend Squads, for those who want to play with friends or favourites. Immerse, immerse me, Conquest Progress, whatever that is. No clue what's going on. I join a Life Fault Squad. Your Quest Join Squad has been approved, the whole of LA is counted on you. What? New characters can join your party, Elmer. Who is a reclaimer, are you? Okay. Class is Full Metal Jaguar. A former colonel of the Coalition Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit. More casually known as the Skeleton Crew. Oh, the Skeleton Crew. Yeah, nice. Few operatives can match Elmer in combat, either in or out of a skull. Battle style. Elmer's twin swords are commonly made by dual firearms, which she wields with deadly skill in the standard Full Metal Jaguar style. Signature art Shadow Strike and Ghost Factory is her second one. Lynn is an outfitter, makes sense. Shield Trooper class. She is our tank. Tanks come in tiny sizes. Lynn's a genius mechanic whose skills extend to scale tech and beyond. She has a bubbly personality, treating everyone with equal warmth. Though young, she bears a passion for justice and a fierce will to live. She has fire carnival and drum roll. A small and frame, Lynn wields a massive shield to valiantly engage foes up close, a hallmark of a standard Shield Trooper style. Arena is available. Psycho Corruptor. Psycho Corruptor. I mean, it sounds cooler if you combine the words, right? She's an interceptor. It's just a district as a usual location. Gutsy but cool headed, Arena devotes her entire being to protecting the people of New LA. Back in her skeleton crew days, Alina served under Elmer, a leader for whom she still maintains strong admiration. Arena aids allies by using recovery techniques with areas of effect. Her unique style is based on the Psycho Corruptor class. Oh, she sounds pretty cool. Smooth recovery. And then go in. An honest man with an unshakable sense of justice, he is a samurai gunner. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Gwyn admires his commanding officer, Lena, and yearns to protect her, though a lack of ability has prevented him from fully realizing this noble goal. Gwyn uses a standard samurai gunner style to fiercely charge into the fray, often leaving his comrades to clean up the aftermath. Ultra slash and grenade blitz. Doug's available too? Yikes. That's a lot of people that all of a sudden become, what the hell is this? Compensating for something. Doug is still in appearance, but rather meek in demeanor. As Essence of Wonder follows, thank you very much. When one of Lynn's skull tests ends in failure, he usually takes the flak. He's a common fighter, however, especially when in a skull cockpit. He's the Blast Fencer. No predicament is too daunting for Doug, who uses a unique style based on the Blast Fencer class to do battle on the front line. Style like Dust are phenomenal in your abilities. As we move on to our next chapter. Segment in the commercial districts has been updated. A segment in the Blade Barracks has been updated. Basically everywhere then, right? Squad tasks, missions with a counter on the bottom right. I, I don't know how to play this anymore. Affinity mission. We were soldiers. Require level 12. Max members 4. So the other two are restricted. It will require members of missing, Elmer and Lynn. I guess they're not in my party currently, and that's why I can do that. So is that the next story mission? Or that seems to be friendship missions? Oh, this is this is incredibly, incredibly confusing. Alright, this is the repair shop of Grind Level 13, Elmer and Lynn again. Hi Tatsu! This place seems quite nice. Think it okay to poke around? That's who want to explore a bit. Make self feel at home. Feel free. Also, get out of my way. Hi, Lynn. Let's head out. Oh, yeah, it's Andrew. Hey, you headed off somewhere. Mind if I tag along? I keep hitting dead ends to my scale flight module projects, and it's making my brain start to hurt. I think a little blade work in the great outdoors would be just the thing to clear my head. So, how about it? Of course, I'll add Lynn to the Let's team. Move out. Thanks, I was ready. The fresh air will do me good. Very good. So we have to add you like this. So we're level 12 currently. Rank 7 striker. I cannot be removed. Tatsu is follow Lin at all times though, by the way. Right, 
it said you're in the barracks as well, so where art thou? There she is. Need help with anything? Well, Daddy, how are your division missions progressing? If you don't object to my presence, I'd be happy to join you for a while. Of course, it's just a personal request, not an order as your team leader. Don't feel obligated to comply. No one help me get any. Thanks. I'm to serve on your team, sir. Why are you call me sir? You're the boss, boss. So this is Story Mission Chapter 4. Survey 15% of Primordia. Complete Blade Level Basics mission. Complete the professional mission. Oh, okay. So my progress requirements aren't met because I actually need to now go out into the outer world and just explore for ages. So the bit we did earlier wasn't exactly bad. <laughs> Everyone's like, ahoy there. You there, good day. Good day to you there. Good day. And so obviously filler things, because we've turned things off by the look of it. Right, we were soldiers. No specific requirement, primary destination, primordia. We can't take any of the others. Affinity requires not meant. I need to be one star affinity with both of them. How do I make you love me? I need to make them love me now. I guess we'll just pick up some quests at the board and just start heading around trying to check places out. And of course there's quests. Now just uh, hold on, the supplies people from Earth have already started to run out. What? These rates of Morani mining aren't enough to keep New LA going. So I know you're doing the best you can, but look, it's just not enough. We can't... Oh, hey, rookie. Glad to see you back. And uh, apologies for the scene you walked in on. Query or mock? Mock? A query? Well, I suppose this concerns you too. May as well brief you on it. In the months since crashing here, we've gone through most of the resources you brought with us on the right white right well. Really? I mean, did you not have any... In this habitat area, did you not have, like, any hydroponics? We're now in the process of transitioning to materials acquired through Frontier Nair. More than anything, we need a large supply of uranium to ensure operations here can continue. But with so few data probes in place, it's difficult. Everyone's so busy that a lot of important work has gone undone. Maybe you can lend a hand. I need 750 units of uranium. I need someone to deal with a pack of juvenile simians to keep hassling pathfinders out in Primordia. Finally, I have my own little spec op. I need a storage device known as Data Unit FN093 to be recovered. It contains some top secret info. If my calculations are correct, it should have also fallen to the planet's surface somewhere out in Primordia. If we take care of all that, I'll make sure it's worth your while. Deal? I will take the quest. Give me three missions. Three separate missions. Right then, to mine more uranium, you'll need to install new data probes. No deal, right? I'd recommend expanding Primordia's frontier now as you tackle other missions in the areas. Such efficiency is the pathfinder way. Try to keep that in mind as you work, rookie. So, demand curse stop calling you rookie. Now I'll show gratitude. Alright, it's still nice to get a thanks once in a while, so keep it up. Finish this mission, and you'll be a full fledged blade as far as I'm concerned. Alright, good luck out there. Maybe I should have told her to stop calling me Brooke. People of New LA are counting on Frontier Nav, which means they're counting on you. Yes. Do I have any of these already complete? I've got some uranium gathering. I think 750 units should be enough to see us through for the time being. Do I have? Oh, I have 5,300! Thanks a bunch. I'll see that it gets distributed among the city's industries. I won them. I hope you'll tackle the rest of my Primordia assignments with the same vigor. I mean, I had the thing right here, so that's not too bad. All right, Eleonora. Quest, quest, quest. <laughs> I don't want to do. It seems you're already well on your way to making a name for yourself. But here are stories around Blade Headquarters. One day you're outgunning hostile Xenos, the next you're adopting strange walking delicacies. Oh, but I didn't stop you just to catch up. Commander Vandam asked me to brief you the next time I saw you. Are you familiar with blade levels? Uh. Deny. <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, good. Glad I didn't prepare this speech for nothing. New recruits are assigned a blade level of one. They're just beginning, after all. 
As they continue to clear missions, that level will slowly go up. You can think of it as a barometer for your contributions as a blade. The top level is 10. That's the difference from unstoppable powerhouses and masters of the field. Those are the blades you get written into the history books. Next up are division points. Know about those? Tell me more. No, alright. But you do know about the divisions, right? Yeah. The eight blade divisions each serve a different, important role here on Mira. Roles like expanding frontier nav, hunting indigens, retrieving salvage from the white well, and so on. As a blade performs those tasks, he or she is rewarded based on performance. Those are the division points I mentioned. You probably know this, but to advance your blade level, you have to collect division points. The good news is that basically any work you do as a blade will net you points. Simple, right? Claim you will hit level 10 in no time. What's the benefits of a higher level? That makes more sense. Pain, honor, glory. Not to mention tasty bonuses. Give the specifics as a surprise, though. It's more fun that way. Why not try for a blade level of 2 to start? Come back to me once you get that far. That'll be a bonus waiting. Right, we listened to the explanation already. And if I said it as my target, isn't the target here? Oh wait, have you already increased your blade level? Did I? Also, you certainly didn't put off the vibe of an amateur, that's for sure. Well, I'll still give you my spill just in case. Whenever your blade level increases, pay me a visit. Once I've verified your status, I'm authorized to issue a fat bonus. Let's start by getting you a gift to commemorate reaching blade level 2. Congrats! Thank you! A hollow figure projector has been added. A new hollow figure... What will it display? Thank you. I'm going to look at your bonus. I'll be furnishing you with all sorts of things to deck out and customize your barracks. That's the only place on Mirror you can truly call home after all. And now you can make it just like home by tweaking the design to your liking. Not the sort of thing you expect Vanham to think of, is it? He doesn't exactly scream interior design. Truth is, a month or so ago, a petition went around and a hundred blades signed on. But I digress. Back to the briefing at hand. There's one additional bonus, probably when you care more about them redecorating your room. I'll be increasing the level of your skills. You have three field skills in total, mechanical, biological, and archaeological. But each is fairly rudimentary at this point, and you're ready to move beyond that. Well, I've got good news! As part of your bonus, you could choose to improve one of your field lit skills. If anything is a little cheaper for us to force you to choose one at a time, believe it or not, it's for your own sake. Also, too many advanced concepts on the blade at once tends to confuse no well more than help. Not to mention that if misused, someone could take that expertise, hack the computers in Blade Tower, and endanger all of humanity. That's why the highest tiers of technical skills are reserved for people who have proven themselves trustworthy. Those of high blade levels. Which skill? Alright, enough lecturing. Time for the fun part. Which build skill will be boosting for you today? I guess mechanical I see more of at the moment. I don't know. Alright, your mechanical skill, field skill, is officially enhanced. That's all for this round's bonus and for the briefing. As of today, you're a proper blade. Now get out there and earn those division points. I'll see you when you hit blade level 3. Keep it up. I'm always here. In the meantime, good luck and have fun. GLHF. Well, at least that quest was completed pretty fast. Alright, I guess I should take some of these quests. Can you say, please bring us Moranium? Who am I actually bringing it to? Random's got orders for me at the back briefing room as well. It's interesting. Especially because the rewards aren't showing up for that. Very interesting. Well, I could just take all of them and I don't have to worry about anything. Saltat Horn. And Mita Skier Pose. Some of them are a bit higher level than ever, though. Some of them are five stars after all. You know the Ambusher. I mean, I'd like to. I don't know if I should just take them all or not. Weapons tester? How do I... No, I don't want to abandon it. How do I give in these missions? I'll just take them all. It's fine. This comes to this as it. Ben R98045. Really? Oh, what was that? So what was the deal with that? The other guy, the outfit, says second. Did you really think we'd give him our precious resources for his nonsensical research project? Well, that was interesting. Something obtained for that then, right? Alright, 
I can't take that on. You said to me to go to the briefing room. Oh, that's it, isn't it? That's where you want me to be, isn't it? I guess to complete that quest, we just take on that. Why was the hollow projector in the display figure? We have no figures and Lin is off. Bye, Lin. You run into that wall, it'll be fine. So, just do missions. Seems to be the thing rather than meeting with Vandom right now. Go away, Tatsu. Stop buzzing around. Now, where's one of the other guys to find? Gotta locate them too. Okay. Cast the I will ignore. There's a mission here too. Try to check it. Restricted members Doug, it's Elman Lin. Required level 20. Complete chapter 4 is the progress requirement. Wow. There should be quests everywhere, aren't there? Ah! Feeling overwhelmed at all? I guess I need them to die. Well, I need to level up, really. Any new armor that's been appearing at the moment? Some of this stuff looks not great, I'll have to admit. So Lin actually could do with the Gatling gun being upgraded. Go with that then. Any better torso I can get you at this point? Survival body wear. Yeah, you get to have that now. So you don't look so weird anymore. That's the basics of it. I'll even get you some other upgrades. We're, going, we're matching! Okay. I think we'll just wear this. We'll just, we'll just be twins. Geared up twins. Right, surely one of these should upgrade now, right? There we go. Equipping a piece of gear got me the Lightwear series, new products. Gravity keeping you down, then don this gear. The latest and greatest in quality gravity resistance, and of course, high physical resistance is still a trait of all Sakuraba wear. New products available in store. And the Assault Free series is the music stop there. Nothing is impossible with Sakuraba in your arsenal. When locked in combat with a foe, we lock onto them with our fine beam weaponry. We guarantee results. And the Knife Free series. Electric line of knives guaranteed to send piskinoids running. Snipers. Finding secrets of Aoife technology have been tapped to bring you the one and only Sniper 2 series. How many things did I just unlock? A lot. But I'm not very good with the Granada groups at the moment, am I? So I can just donate them Meranium to level up now as well. So would it probably be not too bad for me to just invest 2,000 in them to get them to level 2 as well? Light wear series there. If you're an operative raise for ranged weapons, this is your gear. Presenting a top of the line series of protective wear, expectedly tuned beyond medium wear specs. Last year, free series. It's a ray gun revolution from Granada. This new design incorporates thermal tech, allowing you to instantly lay waste to ferroid foes. Their free two series. I'm gonna say free. Finally, electric longsword for the operative who's a cub of the rest. Choose trendy. Choose Granada. Very trendy. So now, now that I've just, of course, looked at the stuff, there's obviously gonna be better stuff now, which 
makes me slightly sad. But while there might be more slayers, it doesn't mean I can necessarily get anything that's cool at this point either. Let's look at the head. That's not too bad, that's seven defense has been unlocked there. Where was it? Oh, that's the combat headset that I haven't even can't get yet. Doesn't really seem like much more stuff actually got unlocked then, does it? I'll just wear my combat shirt soon. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Alright, we may have unlocked some stuff, but we haven't really unlocked some stuff. <laughs> Ain't that a thing. Okay. Hey. Where are... The other guys? Now then. Come on, mate. I can now unlock this. Mining probe G2. 10,000 credits for opening that. It's not terribly bad. I thought these guys were in the administrative district. Try and tell me there's nothing to see down here because it's totally boring. Okay, I'll, well, I won't go down here then. Convince me. Hey. Watch out, we're not alone anymore. I'll receive my report back. You know what? At a later time. Tell me. <gasps> well, there was something down here. <laughs> it was worth coming out here, indeed. Yeah. Well, we're gonna play the recipe for driving yourself nuts. You need to come with me to Gina's bar and cut loose once in a while. All right, I can. But here's Mia. <sighs> Plucked again. Ah, stupid bolt was the worst instructor ever. Power tripping idiot. Yeah, can I help you? I'm kind of in a mood here, so make it quick before I bite your head off. Let's inquire. Provoke her, though? Alright, let's just inquire nicely. Oh, thanks for asking. I'm gonna explode if I don't vent to somebody. Well, I'm a mechanic at the moment, but I've applied for a transfer to Blade. Except this idiot instructor, Walter, keeps failing me at the aptitude test. He says I can't handle ordnance correctly, so that I'm not mentally prepared for Blade, and he's flunked me 45 times in a row. He's studying every day. I even keep a set of books in the bathroom, which is so very gross. Can you believe this? Is it is it gross? Ask Mia why she is set on joining Blade, or suggest to me that she reconsider her career goals. I'll inquire. Thank you for asking. It's about time a good listener showed up around here. I refuse to hold up in a safe little corner while the fight for human survival goes on outside. Well, that's what I tell people. But outside of LA's walls is a whole world of experiences you could never find on Earth. It's got me burning with wanderlust. I want to set foot where no one has before. See sights previously unseen. What has got me trapped in this cage? I need out, man. I need to be free. She says to Mia that she could always just sneak out. Warn Mia that if she isn't fit for duty, she shouldn't venture outside of NLA. I'll dissuade her. Oh, look at that. It's another Boa. They're cloning them now. I don't need this hassle, man. I'll just take out of NLA on my own if that's what it takes. It's silent. I leave today and ain't nobody going to stop me. Uh, you know, it's probably a little nuts to just run off without the proper equipment. But you can find me some protective wear and some kind of weapon. I mean, you're pretty much my accomplice at this point anyway, right? Really? What do you want? My reward is a school blazer. Hooray. I'm so glad I picked a reasonable person. Grab iron blades and some combat body wear, then meet me back here. That should be enough to weather any unruly indigens I come across, yeah? Oh, and if you could hurry, that'd be great. I've got a few for adventure, so I want to strike with the on top. Do I technically already have the stuff or not? It says, I've got an iron blade. It says, combat yeah. body wear. So I've got to get combat body wear specifically. And now the debate is on about the state of undress of characters, is it? If going naked was the ultimate form of defense, would you go naked? A hundred percent. Somehow my skin was that defensive compared to putting on things, but then why would my skin be better than clothes? Because actually then you'd wear clothes over it. Does, does going naked somehow give you extra defense then? I don't get it. Because surely if like your naked skin was the highest defense, then putting clothes on it as well would be fine. I don't know. 
Where's some combat body armor then? Is it that she wants me to get? Actually, what specifically do you want me to get? Combat body wear. Is it just any bit of combat wear? This is going to put me in the negative, isn't it? She's only paying me 8,000. So the survival stuff doesn't count? It's specifically combat. This is worrying. Combat body wear. She wants... You're telling me she's level 15? Obviously she's level 15. Maybe I shouldn't discourage her about going out in the rest of the world. She can wear higher level stuff than I can. By far. I bow to your power, Mia. Your awe-inspiring almighty power. <laughs> I saw tragedy in my near future. Hey. hey! Welcome back! Just missed my best friend in the world, Walter. You'd be proud. I got another big lecture about giving up on becoming a blade operative. Not just shut up, smile real big and listen. What about arguing when I'm about to leave the nest? That is assuming you got the equipment I asked for. Let's have a weapon fit to cleave a millisaw in twain. The iron blades. I have them, supposedly. Awesome! Next protective gear able to stop a charging Swede in its tracks. Come up, body wear! Best present ever! With these bad boys, I can handle anything the engines of Mira can dish out. Thank you so much, um... Wait, do I still not know your name? Wow, embarrassing. So what is it? Evade. I mean, I don't want her to know the answer now. Hey, cool, strong name. I like it. But I'm terrible with names, so from today forth, I'm calling you Chief. Alright, now that I'm all geared up, I'm off. I'll put those other blades to shame and have Walter eat his words by the end of the week. We'll have him eat his words. Surely, she won't end up in trouble out in the wild. Thanks everything, Chief. Catch you on the outside, yeah? Wow, well, that was a big negative in money. Alright, have fun out there, Mira. She's disappeared. Is there any more quest area I'm looking for? Let's just cut that up. A purple spot here is just this. Is this a lift? Cooling elevator. This is the elevator. I don't know. What's up with these guys over here? Apparently some guy named HP just aced the aptitude test. And I mean, Flau murdered that sucker. So. What's up, Peter? What work do the Pathfinders do? The guys I've joined. <laughs> What's this? Another fan? Well, I suppose it's inevitable that a man as handsome skills as myself would attract this sort of attention. Regardless, I always try to be courteous to my fans, so I'll answer your question about my body of work with the Pathfinders. I'll probably do is to range throughout Mirror and install data probes. It's cooler. Look at it go. After all about our efforts to expand Frontier Nav with these probes, Blade would be hard pressed to make any progress on their survey of the planet. And so as Frontier Nav expands, missions that were not previously available become possible to pursue. That sets the stage for completing important objectives such as seeking out possible locations and parts of the life hole. It is grueling and dangerous job. For the sake of humanity's future, pursue it I must. We want affinity chart stuff. Damn. That idiot Bates has installed his data probe in the wrong place yet again. So it falls upon me to go out there and correct his mistake. I'm tired of dealing with rank amateurs. It's been quite the expectation, but I hope I might find unexplored territories and scenic viewpoints along the way. Give me chances to toast the majesty of nature. I pray that you also make the time to relax during the missions. There's no need to exhaust yourself out there. Though I need to go out there and start putting down probes. Aren't you? Not too shabby. You're that new recruit from Elmer's team that discovered what happened to Nelson's crew, right? Yeah, my thanks for that. My team has worked with Nelson on many occasions, and we were all terribly worried about them. Your report was heartbreaking, but at least now we finally know what happened. As Pathfinders, my team is resolved to fill the void left by the passing and do everything we can to expand Frontier Nav for our mirror. Aren't you? <laughs> I'm a member this. of Team Corwin, which is centered around Captain Corwin and his band of explorers from back on Earth. It's a team loaded with former professional explorers. Can you imagine a better group, say, Mira? 
A lot of Blades get swept up in the idea of joining a team like that and going on grand adventures. And while I'm a sub-leader now, I must admit that I used to be one of them. I suppose I still am, actually. As a veteran of the Coalition forces, I was initially assigned to Arena's Interceptors division, but when I heard Corin talk about his ambitions, I decided I wanted to be a part of them and applied for a transfer to the Pathfinders. The captain really is a fascinating person. As a new recruit, I'm sure they're working you hard, but you should speak for Corin if you ever have the chance. Maybe I will. I found Gwyn. Technically, I'm more interested in the lady that heals. Personally, sorry, Gwyn. Ooh, well, on, Tandy. I was just thinking about you. I haven't had an assignment with any real meat on it for a long time. I can almost feel my skills melt away. So if you've got anything you could use my help with, I'd be thrilled to lend a hand. No, no. Take me with oh, you. really? Well, if you ever need me, just say the word. Segment recon is complete there. Hmm. Right, Walter, tell me about fighting and scales. You're asking if piloting and scale makes one invincible. Not quite. But if you intend to battle foes so much larger than yourself, a scale is usually the right choice. However, some technicians claim that you are better off if you choose the right ground gear and affix the right weapon orbits for any specific battle situation. They go so far as to say that with the right ground gear, you can even slay some tyrants that will be difficult to beat with a scale while you're on foot. That is an untested theory at the moment, but I do hope you will always strive to achieve your utmost potential in ground combat. Just saying we're not locked to using the bigger things. I haven't seen Mia around lately. She's that mechanic who asked for a transfer to Blade, but wait, what? You say you helped her with her wish to join Blade. You gave her gear and weaponry and set her off on a journey. You fool, how could you? Sorry, I, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. I know Mia could be quite convincing. It's suicide, what the hell? You happen to cross her on one of your missions. Might you give her a message for me? Just tell her not to die if you would. Can do. Listen. The insectoid indigents tend to be very sturdy, so it's a lot more effective to battle them with things like flame and certain energy waves and with physical attacks. Is it now? Is that a tip for us? Right, where is... Irina. She's not around there. That's Miles. He's come back. Oh... I guess you'd find her at HQ, right? There we go. Hi, Marcus. Hey, check this out. Before we engage in a big bounty mission, the whole team always huddles around the arena and looks up our target in the enemy index. Once we worked out our plan of attack, we had our unengaged foe. You can use your blade issue comm device to pull up information on any foe you fought previously. Now it's be tough, so be sure to put your enemy index to good use, alright? I'd hate to lose you out there. Of course, that's all on the pad and nowhere else. Hey. That's some pathetic blade guy who keeps giving Arena a hard time. He's probably just doing it because he likes her, honestly. Still, there's no excuse to pull her hair like some grade school crush. Man up and ask her out for a drink or something. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you, Marcus. What? Yeah, move position. Hey. Hey, old Andrew, how's it going? If you need some backup, just say so. I'm always willing to help. Not that you're extra special or anything. It's just one of my duties as a senior officer. Anyway, feel free to bring me along if you want. Want to team up? Watch that. Leave the hard parts to me. Alright, Arena has joined. She is level 14. Level 14 Psycholuptor. Alright, I guess we should head out into the world then, see what else is going on. But maybe I should see. I'm guessing her gear is very good at this point. I'd imagine her gear can't be worse than mine. She's not wearing any headgear, for starters, though. Let's give you an eye patch. 18 defense. Wait, where was that item which is... Wait, what? That school blazer gives 40 defense? Oh, it actually is every slot. It's interesting. I mean, it depends what all my slots do already, like, to begin with anyway. Probably a little less when I look at it, though. When I could dress people up in a school blazer and have them go fight things, that would be fine. Right, about weapons, though. I think that should be better than what you have. So weapon-wise, she hasn't got great stuff. Titanium knife doesn't seem too bad, I guess, though. Oh, 
Right, we found her. Let's head out into the world then, shall we? I'm sure I just saw a thing there. So what's this one? A new rival. No specific things. You cannot accept this mission as your current party exceeds the maximum party size. Max members is free. So I can actually go on that affinity mission. If I wanted to. As long as I dropped Arena from the party. But I don't know how to remove someone from the party. <laughs> Which way should I go out first then? Should I go out the other side door? I'm wondering about that at this point. Like, we just need to put some probes down. Was there really not a probe put down in the very first area we exit on this side? I guess I didn't really explore it properly. Hey. So, 15% scan rate. This could take a while. Interesting lyrics. Let's head left. Oh! These some things I need to kill for some reason. It didn't have to be like this. Send them back. Take it in and now we've got four people. So we surely have better damage than we ever had before. Can't be worse then, right? So how many of them was that defeated that we needed to do or not? Topple him. Gotta work on the other guy after. Cut them down the blink of an eye. What am I even after from them? I don't even know. Is it was it a kill quest? Was it something else? But equally, I'm guessing this area hasn't been marked as of yet. Saw me coming in. Finish you off. Reinforcements? They're not reinforcements. I just accidentally pulled full. Maybe I'll get the goods. Great miss there. So much shooting going on. We don't even know what's going on. I'm really just standing at the back there. Saw people out. I got a worn soldier something there? Worn soldier Avaga, which is a gold item. Treasure deal. I don't know. What? Okay. One soldier Avagar there was the treasure. It's gold level. Still only six damage, but has lower cooldowns on certain things. I don't even know if that's better or not. Right, well, what I want to look for is wherever the probe point is, either here or the next area. The next area is a lot more to explore, so if I push forward into there, I'll be fine. Oh, there's the probe. And that's the probe we already got. 
That's the next area's probe. So that's a crap probe. Is it actually a case that I can't get all probes? Am I supposed to get vision on some of these? Level 55 monster over there. Level 55 monsters everywhere. Okay, you're level 7 at least. Please no one jump on me from above. I'm just trying to enter middle map here to look around for proby places. And you stop toddling around, mister. That would be nice. I want to take a corner and randomly meet like a level 13 big buddy, Serene the Lost over there. I guess I don't necessarily need to fight you right now though. Well, I'm not really finding any places to put pop down currently. It's already mapped to what? A piece of white whale wreckage landed in the northern part of the side of mine. Just hope some dumb indigent hasn't torn it apart already. Thank you for the, the hint. Really? Nelson's team was completely wiped out. But we promised each other that we'd get lunch at Sunshine Cafe the next time we both had a day off. Well, I'm, I'm fortunate to say that's not going to take place. <laughs> Can every zone even be mapped? Oh, hello, level 47 thing just walking down from above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need me posturing to me. I don't even know if I've got a quest to kill you specifically. Alright, I'm not doing very well at finding a mappable point. Is that for this area or for the area I've already done? I think that's for the area I've already done. Yeah, I've already done this one. Does that mean there's not a mappable point? Because I can see these from quite far away. Oh god, what the hell scared me? Right, I got a basic mission completed. Thank you very much for that. I got a tank top for my troubles. That's really what I needed. Scary noises just attacking me. I'm in the center of the area. I do not see a probe point anywhere. But you see the ones that are there from really quite far away. It just makes you wonder. Are they accessible or not? No rest for the wicked. You really want to fight, do you? <laughs> Say you won't live more than a couple of seconds when I go in. It's the trying to work out what I can do and what I can see. <laughs> Where should I start from? Right, I'm gonna go over to the Westgate Plains. I want to start mapping, and not even this area has been mapped. Well, it seems like a good place to start, considering there's a lot of low-level things. And there's a quest there, for us to kill those. So why not respond a little bit, eh? Huh? 
kill the blast three day. Alright, no one else attack me. I hear Maltrus is having a sale. We're talking about going shopping. Maybe we're trying to map the area. But where go? To find the mappable spot. Uh, I need to kill some of those, but lower level ones, quite obviously. See any glowings? Maybe this spot is down by the water side where it said those nasty indigens were. Wouldn't surprise me. Though I do have fast travel for this area. Thanks to landmarks, most likely. Work. No pig is going to survive that. Ah, the exploring point, point of the game. Man, is there going to be a lot of exploring. Is that thing having a pee by the sound of it? And then there's the wondering when I might move into an area that's incredibly deadly. Not even realising it. I don't want to jump off the side here. I'm just having a look. I'll go up onto a precipice. Don't you go knocking me off. What's this? That's just a gnome. Okay. Uh, can you make that jump? Seems like it's daring me to make the jump. I feel like I'm being called out here a little bit. Why are you trying to make this jump? I found the bit. Anyway, it is down in the water side. It's down there. Ah, oh, perfection. And some big monster's going to come eat me. Well, I don't have enough field skill. What's it require here? Two archaeological. Ah, I made that jump really cleanly. I won't make it next time I'm here. Finally, found a probe point. Took a while though. I say, surely there's nothing evil down there. We. Excuse me, crabs. I'm here to use this probe. Took me a while to find the point, mind you, but basic probe installed. So we have this area probed. Interesting enough, I didn't get the previous area probed. Are they having a pee now? I do wonder. Right, so there's somewhere to probe this way. And considering it's quite a small zone, it might be easier to probe the most. But, could equally have some crazy monsters that I'm unaware of. Skittery cramps. <laughs> 